So, you want to join our class. Well, you passed the exams, all right? Uh, what's your name? Explain that one more time. And what do you call that? Alright. Okay. Alright, and your reason for being a hero? What's your goal? Why why do you want to be a hero? Mm-hmm. Alright. Interesting. Alright, and why are you a good candidate for this class? And I'm gonna be upfront with you, I don't want to hear any of the usual bullshit. I'd like you to just say it, briefly. Why are you good for this class? What do you give us? Don't say bravery, don't say heroicness, don't give me any of that bullshit. Okay? Be honest. What about you is different? What about you is special? Okay. That's a good answer. Interesting. Okay, take that into consideration. And so, do you have the teacher recommendations that you need? Let's see here, it says... Okay. And do you have experience... where? Have you ever done a uh, internship or a work study? An internship. With uh what here? I didn't realize they were doing internships still. Well good for you. And how old are you? Parents, you live at home. Uh, separate it together. Okay. Um, do you have any relationships or encounters with any villains, known villains, registered villains? You too. Okay, that's a small town name. It's not much to worry about. Right. Well, now that I've got the basics written down, how often do you train? And be honest with me. I can tell if you're lying. Mm hmm. That's mediocre. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. I need you to push your limits. Exceptional. Push your limits as far as they can go. Alright. Without hurting yourself, that's the key. You have to know when to stop as well. Alright? We've got really hardworking students in this class. Lately. Rumor's gone out that one of them is going to be All Might's successor. 
So you've got quite a lot to keep up with. What's more important to you? Being the best hero? Or being a good hero? This isn't a right or wrong answer. This is something I need to know to get to know you. You'd rather be a good hero than the best hero. Okay, that's good to know. Let me tell you why that's a good answer. It's because the kids in this class, they want to be the best hero. Not the best hero they can be, but the best hero in general. It drives them crazy. It makes them fight each other and do stupid stuff. So I don't want to see that in my classroom anymore. I've got enough to deal with. With that Bakugo kid and Izuku. I can't. It's too much. They exhaust me so much sometimes I nap during class. I would say don't tell Principal Nezu about that, but I think he knows. All right. So, it's important that your main goal is to save lives. To make sure people are safe. That's your ultimate job, not showing off your fancy quirk, not competing with your friends. When you compete with your friends, it's to better yourself. Not to compare yourself to them, but to better yourself. Okay? And it looks like you understand that. Those are the qualities I'm looking for. In the next young hero that joins my classroom. All right? Good. And I have to ask, if you were a villain, what would you, what, what crime would you commit first? I ask this question for my own reasons, okay? I'll let you know after you answer it. Don't give me a cushy answer. That's not the answer. Be honest with me. What would you do? It's okay if you say you'd kill someone. It's okay if you say something crazy. I need to know. Okay. So don't act on that, obviously. Because we don't want to hunt you down like a villain. But I do want you to know that it's important that you're able to think like a villain without being tempted to actually become one yourself. That's the key. And it looks like you've got some of that already prepared. Good job. You've passed my little test. Hmm. So, some things you should know about the kids in this class. They're crazy. They're insane. They have absolutely no... no chill. Did I say that right? One of the students has been saying that a lot, and I'm trying to relate to them more, but I don't think it's working. Oh well, I was never good at trying to relate to kids. Mostly I'm just good at telling them what to do. <laughs> but these are good kids. They make an impact on you. It might take a minute to become friends with them, but they're all really friendly. It's crazy. If you're the kind of person who is like me and doesn't really enjoy, you know, sociable people so much, then this might be difficult for you. But ultimately, my best friend, you know, in life is someone who is the loudest person, I think, in the known universe. So you never know how it's going to actually affect you, having people like that around you. And I thank, you know, the universe every day that he's a part of my life. Because he's helped me out through a lot of things. And I think if you're in this class, you'll find somebody like that too. And that's so important, the bonds you make here. Don't feel pressured to make them, because I've known plenty of young heroes who were fine on their own. Total lone wolves the whole time. But it takes you challenging yourself to become something greater than what you are. 
You understand? So try to stretch your limits. Walk a little outside of your comfort zone. In a safe way. All right? It's a hard balance to find, but that's the balance of a hero. Okay? All right, kid. So, let's see. What was your score for practical? Do you have that paperwork on you? I'll take it. Thank you. Okay, so practical score was. So that's good. And the actual tasks. All right. So you're scored page by page. Looks like it's. So your final score is here, and then... Actual hero points would be... Okay. During your, uh, training, or rather, during the, uh, the physical exam, um, did you save any of your fellow classmates in any way? Emotionally, whatever. Make your case. Did you, or did you focus mostly on destroying the robots? You helped one student. How'd you help them? Well, that's nice. So you gave them kind of a pep talk beforehand? Yeah, it helped you too, didn't it? Made you feel like you were more confident than you actually are. That's funny, that's a good strategy when you're first starting out. Smart. And this student, did they perform all right, or...? They did better? Nice. Well, that's something. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a few points for that. I'm gonna add them to what Nezu already gave you. So we've got... So you have reached the... Bare minimum score for joining our classroom. Granted, that means it's a very excellent score for joining the HERO program. Right now, my class is one of the most sought after classes because we've been known to have quite a few run ins with some villains. However, that's not a good reason to want to join us. You should want to join us because. We're good at what we do, not because villains are out to get us. Be careful. This program makes you learn faster than you think. <sighs> All right. So you look good. I'm going to go ahead and call this in. And I believe... What was your name again? I don't want to flip back to the previous page. Okay, I need a quirk. Right. Okay. Uh, are you related to any pro heroes at all? No? Alright. That's good. First, first generation. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't have a problem with you. Which is, you know, more than I can say for most of the students in my class. So, fill out your application again, and uh, we'll see what happens. But, um, looks good from my end. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get another candidate. It's a better fit. So I can't promise you anything, but... You didn't totally bomb this interview, which is good for you. Alright, uh, get out of my office. I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, good luck and stuff. <laughs>